There are many dangers ahead. Orca attack, collisions with ships. His mother's back is lined with scars from a boat propeller. But the young calf faces an even more immediate threat from a very dangerous animal. Male humpbacks come here every year looking for a chance to mate. They compete amongst themselves for access to the females. And their rivalry can be very dangerous. Some females in these waters are looking for a mate, but not this mother with her vulnerable young calf. If she doesn't shake off the testosterone-charged males, her calf could be crushed to death in a scrum of 30-ton bodies. The males chase her down, jostling to get into position to try and mate with her. The calf struggles to keep up. The mother guides her calf up for a breath and uses her body as a block to protect him from the males. The males become more aggressive as they battle for access. Five meter long fins, edged with sharp barnacles, are swung like clubs. Their bodies can be weapons too. A breach can severely wound a rival or crush a calf caught up in a fight. The calf is exhausted. Finally, his mother, who's bigger and stronger than the males, gets her message across. The males move on. Minky whales make their way into these placid waters in summer. This is the most abundant whale in the Southern Ocean. Minkies are one of the smallest of all the baleen whales, and like all others, they come here to feed. The majestic humpback whales are also summer visitors. They have traveled thousands of miles from their winter breeding grounds in the tropics to gather the food that becomes available here in summer. In just four months, they accumulate enough fat to provide them with energy for the whole of the rest of the year. All these animals have come here in search of one thing the krill. Krill is the mainstay of the Antarctic food web.
It occurs in phenomenal quantity. Billions of individuals in a single swarm, and swarms can stretch for miles. Fur seals also collect this rich, superabundant food. Krill swarms are very patchy, but once found, feeding is easy. hundreds of thousands of them in a single gargantuan mouth. When the going is good, the whales feed continuously, each eating up to two tons of krill in 24 hours. Coast of Patagonia, southern right whales are assembling. The males announce their arrival by gigantic leaps, a hundred tons propelled into the air with a flip of the tail. The sound above water is like a cannon shot. Below, it must be felt for miles around. And here, these whales demonstrate their solution to that crucial problem for all mammals if they're to live permanently in the sea. How to breed in water. This female is surrounded by ardent males. She's not yet ready to mate and rolls over on her back in an attempt to keep her genital region away from her suitors. But that is not easy when a male is as formidably equipped as a right whale. A slit has opened in a male's underside and a penis protrudes, 12 feet long and highly mobile. The males barge and jostle one another to reach her, and several may succeed, one after the other. Seemingly, the female has changed her mind. She rights herself and leaves the surface. Now she is ready to receive a male.
Male right whales have gigantic testes, the largest in the world. They weigh a ton and produce gallons of sperm. One coupling can flush out whatever preceded it. So it may not be the first male who succeeded in copulating who becomes a father. It will be the last. The inlets echo to the sound of a mysterious song. A curtain of bubbles and a haunting call hold the secret to an ingenious way of fishing. This is bubble net feeding. A dozen whales work together to harvest the herring bonanza. Such fishing requires an extraordinary level of intelligence and cooperation. The lead whale dives first. She is the bubble blower. It's her job to find the fish. The rest follow in formation. Each takes exactly the same position in every lounge. Once she's located the fish, the leader blows a net of bubbles that completely encircles the shoal. Another whale calls to synchronize the group. Panicked by the eerie sound and the blinding bubbles, the fish won't cross this fizzing curtain. As few as a hundred humpbacks have learned how to feed as a team like this. And this is the only place on the planet where whales fish in this way. This is a real wildlife drama happening right now. Just surfacing right behind the sea lion, almost like they're playing with him. But I think it's more because he's just in amongst kelp, thick seaweed, which forms like a forest under the, under the water. Possible also that it's quite shallow here and they can't quite get in at him. 
No match for an entire pod of killer whales. The brainy sea lion wisely hides where they can't follow. Hiding in the kelp makes it harder for the killer whales to see him and impossible to actually get at him. The frustrated killer whales step the hunt up a gear. The jumping, the splashing and the tail slaps are all meant to intimidate the sea lion and drive him out of the kelp. I don't believe what's happening. This is the most incredible wildlife drama I think I've ever seen. They're trying to freak it out and, and drive it out from where from it's where it's hiding. Over here we've got one thrashing its tail, going absolutely crazy with tail slaps. Okay, he's heading out, he's heading away. Our gutsy sea lion hasn't been fooled. He's using his superior manoeuvrability to outwit the orca. Big burst of bubbles right underneath where the sea lion was. It's a waiting game for both the killer whales and the sea lion. The sea lion's back out again. How did it get all the way over there? Is there more than one? Just remarkable. And the sea lion has managed to escape. I can't believe the way our drama seems to be finishing. The sea lion's headed off in that direction and our pod of orca just seem to have given up. And they're heading off that way. There they go. He got away with it, he escaped. That has got to be the gutsiest sea lion on the planet, swimming in that direction right around the shore.